You guys don't ever hear me talking about this because it's very rare because I just didn't want the drama anymore. Kid. Good morning. Let's do your hair, okay? Gotta make you look all handsome. <laughs> Can't see. There's so many ways to escape, but I guess it's time to wake up. You almost bit it. <laughs> See the birdie on our car? Is there a birdie on our car? Yeah, Alright guys, I dropped Roman off at school and now I am gonna get ready to edit and probably do some laundry. Do his laundry. Fold laundry, because there's a crap ton of it to fold. This, that, there's some in there. There's a load in the laundry, uh, in the washer, and there's a load in the dryer that needs to be folded. Just a lot of laundry, so I gotta get to it. Whew. I'm tired of doing housework. For once in my life, I just wanna have a day where I wake up in the morning and it's just, boom, everything's spotless and clean. I think that's called a maid or something though, and we can't afford a maid. So, until we can't afford a maid, I'm the maid, apparently. And I need to make my bed. Everything is coming together really good. I'm even loving the way our room is turning out. I just need Tim to hang this up in our room. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watch um, Cole and Sav but they're the ones who inspired me to get this done. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, OMG, I love that. And it would go perfectly with all of our stuff. And seriously, I, I just love it. So Tim's mom made this for us. I think I said that in one of our vlogs, but I just love it so much. So this goes over our bed and it's probably one of my favorite pieces of all that we own. So, yes. But this is like one of the last pieces that he hasn't hung up yet. He's got his huge other painting at his other house um, still that we have to grab. And then this one. And those are pretty much the last pieces that need to be hung. Which is super exciting. I got distracted. I need to make my bed. 12 seconds later. I don't know if there was anyone like me, like as a young mom, when you had like young children like babies and newborns and things like that i never made my bed because i was always sitting in my bed feeding a baby or, or changing or just trying to relax with all of my kids on top of me it was just insane and they would jump all over it mess it up anyways right after i made it so i never made my bed when the kids were little i don't know if anybody else has ever done that um, but that was definitely me. So now that I'm older and my kids are older, I don't have an excuse anymore as to not making my bed. So now I'm trying to get into the habit of making it again. Plus, it just looks nice when it's made.
there, bed's made. Looks so much better. So, yeah, as soon as Tim hangs this, and then those are little candle holders, and they go on each side of it. So, it's gonna go right there, and then the candle's right there, and it's just gonna look so nice and homey. I don't know, I just like it. Probably, I mean, honestly, it's just stuff, but I think I like it even more because it's mine and Tim's stuff and it just makes me more happy to like think of it that way and it makes me, I don't know, love it more. That just shows that you know you're with the right person because things like that make you more excited than they used to. So yeah, anyways, it's time to get on with the day. Look at how nice this looks in here, you guys. Oh my goodness, so nice. Oh, so relaxing. It's always gonna be a little bit dirty because I do have four children. All right, I am starting to upload the vlog. Then I gotta go pick up Romy Tommy. And then I think I'm gonna take him out for a lunch date with mommy because uh, today is uh, the kids day, the older three kids, dad, oops, is coming to pick them up because after school because it's his day with them. So they're gonna spend the day with him and so it's just gonna be me and Roman this afternoon until Tim gets off work. So I figured I'd take him on a little date. And yeah, it's just gonna be a nice relaxing day. All right, all set. Let's go get him. And we're back. We are home. Ugh. Kinda wanted to come in here for a second because Roman is in the house and, ooh, look at that bee right there, you guys. He's right there. He's trying to get me. Ooh, creepy. Yeah, there's like a ton of bees up in those pink things right there in the trees. I need to get them cut down because there's like a swarm of bees up there. But anyways, um, so while Roman and I were at the mall, we ran into his father. Uh, he got to see him for the first time in a really long time, which I'm completely fine with. I just want to make sure there are no uh, promises made that can be broken because that has happened way too often and that's a huge reason as to why I make the decisions I do in his life um but it went really good and I'm actually really happy with the outcome and I'm hoping and praying that it stays that way and so if it does things can actually progress and he can have um a, a good relationship with his dad which is what I have always wanted now by no means has it been fair at all and when I say fair, it's not fair to Roman, mostly. And it's not been fair to me either when it comes to um, things. Uh, a lot of things have been put on me just because I was more... Um, I, I, don't, I don't know how to... I'm not going to say anything that he wouldn't agree with because I'm telling the truth. This is... It's just been an unfair situation for me that um, he put me in. <laughs> there was just some some lies and uh, cheating and things that have happened, which is why we didn't work out. And then when um, we were separated but trying to do visitations, things didn't work out then either because we would just fight all the time and um he was super unreliable he would be there and then he wouldn't be there and it was just random and it was getting to the point to where it was just completely unfair because i was working a full-time job and uh taking roman to daycare and picking him up and if he was sick it was all on me and i ended up losing that job because i was not reliable I just wasn't reliable because I was the only one able to pick him up because there wasn't anybody else I could I could ask. So 
there were times when he did want him, but he had certain people living with him that I did not want my son around. And even today, he would admit, yeah, you were right on that. Those were not people that uh, he should have been around. So it... But it just goes on and on. Just a bunch of petty stuff happened to where like uh, things were said on social media that caused some drama. And so it just made me become super um, quiet about the whole situation. I, didn't, I blocked him for a while. I didn't talk about it. I never talk about it on the vlog. You guys don't ever hear me talking about this because it's very rare because I just didn't want the drama anymore. None of that ever happens with Tim. Tim is so reliable and that's what I've always, I'm going to cry. I've just always been looking for that and we finally found it. But there's always that other part of you that wants your son to have a relationship with his father and you don't want to be that person uh, keeping him from being able to do that even if it's unfair to you which it is it is unfair to me because I have been his financial provider since day one and I don't receive child support from him I don't and I do everything I pay for everything for him but when it comes down to it I don't it's never been about the money. It's just always been about whatever is best for Roman. And I understand that I'm ranting right now and I never do this and I probably never will after this. But I do feel like it needs to be said that I do want my son to have a relationship with his father and I am working towards trying to figure out how to do that. But making sure that it is somewhat fair. I feel like it's not always going to be fair because I'm the mom and it's just mostly just put on us. That's just how it is. But I want to make sure my son is always loved and cared for and I don't put him in a situation where he's going to get hurt again. So I'm treading lightly, I guess you could say. I'm, I'm going to allow it a little bit and we'll take baby steps and if it continues to do good then we can continue and build from there but baby steps that's all I have to say about that anyways rant over I hate ranting about stuff like this um I have Brayden inside his dad dropped him off real quick because he had to do some homework on the computer and for some reason his dad doesn't have a computer at his house I think he took it to his work so Brayden's inside doing homework and Roman's playing video games. But I did want to talk about this a little bit, but I didn't want to talk about it in front of Roman because he's still young. He still loves his dad to death, which is what I've always wanted. And I, and I never speak negative about him. I just, I want to make sure Roman is okay. That's all. That's all I want. I want Roman to be okay. And, and yeah, it makes me emotional. Just super emotional. But anyways, so the kid's dad will be back in just a little bit to pick them up. Tell us. No. Hashtag. Two. Come. Their homework is hard and he's only in fourth grade. But he seems to know what he's doing. But he was like asking me some questions. And I was like, what kind of homework is this? The blue looks really good in the background. I took the words with me. I took the words. Take the words and give it back. It's good. Okay, kids. <laughs> That's how tired I am. I just called y'all kids. All right, guys. Kids are with their dad tonight, so I have a night off. Tim will be home in a little bit, and I think we're going to get dinner with Roman. But I'm exhausted. But I do want to try to look a little bit cute. So I'm going to try to look a little bit cute, and then we're going to go to dinner. But I do want to just kind of relax and have a nice family time, so I'm probably going to end the vlog right now. 
So if you like today's vlog, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed yet. And we'll see you guys later.